question is looking at the um, motion of two cars driving around a bend. So it says the figure shows two possible paths for negotiating an unbanked turn on a horizontal portion of a race course. Path AA follows the centre line of the road and has a radius of curvature of 85 metres, while Path BB uses the width of the road to good advantage in increasing the radius of curvature to 200 metres. If the drivers limit their speeds in their curves so that their lateral acceleration or their normal acceleration does not exceed 0.8 g's, determine the maximum speed for each path. Alright, so I've redrawn this question, um, which is the main stuff, um, on this diagram here. Alright, so the main piece of information we were told um, is that we're trying to limit our acceleration, it said lateral, but that also means normal acceleration, um, to be 0 0.8 g's. So let's write that down. Okay, so it would make sense um, in a question like this to use the no normal tangential coordinate system simply because um, you've got circular motion and you've been given the radius of the curves in both cases um, and also you're looking at like a normal acceleration here as well. So let's just pick one of them. Say we're looking at A and we have some arbitrary point on the racetrack. If we were to set up our coordinate system we would have the tangential direction pointing in the direction of the velocity and we would have the normal direction pointing back toward the center of the circle over here and it should be a 90 degree angle in between those two. Alright, so in the normal tangential coordinate system we have an expression for the acceleration and that is this one here. So you can see that we have a normal component, this is the unit vector for the normal direction, and a tangential component as well. So what we can conclude is that this part here is our normal acceleration and it's limited to 0 0.8 g's. So we can just pick these two parts um, and put them together. So we know that normal acceleration is equal to v squared on r. So we just need to apply this for both of our cars um, separately. So if we start with oops, car A, we want to know what the velocity is, so we can rearrange and get this. And now it's just a matter of substituting in. So car A is limited to 0 0.8 g, so 0 0.8 times 9.8 for gravity, multiplied by the radius. So car A here is on a 85 um, meter circle. So from that, we can conclude that car A can drive a maximum of 25.8 meters per second. All right, so the second part is to do this for car B. And we're going to end up with the same expression for velocity here. So again, we can substitute into this equation. It's limited to the same um, acceleration, so 0 0.8 g's. But this time it's on a um, bigger circle, a 200 meter circle, so it should be able to go faster. So from this, you can calculate this car needs to go 39.6 meters per second at its fastest in order to keep the acceleration under our limit. So that's that question. Pretty straightforward. Um, see you in the next one.